I picked an old photograph of the Anti-Nazi League, or ANL, for our page, because that's how we should be fighting back in the UK today. I was in my twenties when the ANL were formed, and I was living as an undergraduate in Leicester at the time. It was the era of the hated National Front, and we'd chant, The National Front is a Nazi front. Smash the National Front. Just like our cover picture, thousands with raised banners behind us, and we'd march in solidarity to reclaim the streets from these thugs and bully boys. Even then, waving their Union Jack flags and stomping their brown dog marching boots. Racists and fascists have always been comfortable pedophiles. From Hitler appointing Rome as head of the brown shirts, to him having the same person executed, there is something about bullying and power that draws them together. Many of these people are weak and not self-actualised. Racists and fascists are often in inwardly fearful, lacking in self-esteem, constantly on the lookout for somebody to blame for their poor lives and shabby human existence. Racists and fascists are usually disgruntled, sometimes even articulate, frequently persuasive and similarly culling. They seek to be all things to all people, and they crave control. Like an addict craves a fix. Racists, well, the media courts them for their sensationalism, their exploits, their views, and their ill-informed opinions. It therefore comes as no surprise that Tommy Robinson's Teeth and cleanly shaven face appear constantly on our devices and screens. The hateful is always newsworthy. The squeaky wheel always gets the most oil, even when it's going to top all the whole cart and innocent people will be killed and injured in the crash. Tommy, a.k.a. Stephen Yaxley at Lennon, is as British as Brexit and a constant reminder of the race, hate and prejudice behind that leave vote. Worst of all, of course, is the racism ingrained within our own structures of power. We're governed by an overtly racist Tory party who are infamous for their culture of hostility towards migrants and their immigration vans. Feeling legitimated by this government, racists physically and verbally, as well as online, attack whole ethnic groups in our UK. In particular, we on the left must organise against these enemies and fight for a decent society. There is nothing to be gained from fighting amongst ourselves. Workers, non-workers, trade unionists, independents, councillors, teachers, public service workers, econo economy, economic frontline staff must out racism and fascism when they witness either. We must stand by our fellow be human beings suffering at work, as I have being a trade unionist. We must especially report racially motivated attacks and abuse to management. Those of us working in public facing roles, online, on the phone, face to face, have a human right not to be racially abused when doing our jobs. If the management don't support this, then we should report, to, report this to our unions. So, finally, Bit of a rant, I know, but please use our page. Come on here. Share your comments, your thoughts, your insights. You're welcome. Let's stand up to and beat this new racist narrative. Solidarity, comrades. <laughs>